Hi, Gemini. I'm Pam, and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for August 2019. This month, I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings. And to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Gemini Sun, Gemini Ascendant, and Gemini Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. At the end of this reading, I'm going to pull a gemstone crystal for you from this bag of gemstone crystals and my spirit guides will give the messages as to why that would be the best stone for you to wear, carry, or work with in the month of August 2019. And if you're interested, you can get my mid-year love and romance psychic tarot update for the year of 2019. That link is posted below this video in the description box in the show more section. So all that being said, Gemini, now on to your August 2019 psychic tarot reading. First card you have is the emperor. And the emperor is a strong male figure in your life. This could be somebody that's in the living or they could be deceased. It could be a paternal figure, a father, grandfather, great grandfather, someone like a father figure to you. Could be somebody in the living, a boss, a husband, an ex-boss, an ex-husband, a brother, an uncle, a strong male friend. Um, and if they're in the deceased, they could be influencing you and giving you ideas and inspirations that may feel like they're yours, but they may actually be coming from the emperor. Some of you will be having long talks and long conversations with this emperor in August. I feel like they're doing a lot of thinking about you and they may be wanting to help you in some way or put something together, either romantically speaking or business-wise, or something to enhance or help your life. It could be something in that, fit in that regard. I feel like they really have a lot on their plate. Uh, they have a lot to tackle uh, now or lately, and I feel like some of, for some of you, what the emperor is having to tackle is business, is business related. They may be getting themselves in deeper and deeper into something that they really don't want to be in. Now, again, this could be business. It could also be a love relationship or some other kind of entanglement that they may feel like, oh no, I don't want to get deeper into this, whatever it is. Could even be a tenuous family situation. They may be looking to you for guidance too. They may be looking to you for advice um, or guidance or I don't know, but I do feel like even though I feel like they could be thinking about you a lot and wanting to help you, I also feel like they are kind of feeling like they need something from you. And like I said, for some of you, it's guidance, advice, could even be a shoulder to cry on. They're kind of looking at you like you have it all together and that you have answers. Like you may really seem to them like a really strong answer person. You may feel like they're doing some things upside down and backwards and like they maybe need to straighten something out in their life or straighten out a tricky situation. You could link up with this emperor. Uh, and it could be in a business sense and a partnership sense, but for some of you, it could be romance. If this is not a, you know, a relative to you, um, if it is a relative, it could be in a business sense or a partnership sense to do with work or business or enterprise. Um, if it's not a relation to you, this could be somebody you could link up with maybe romantically speaking. I feel like the emperor is really quite a visionary. I feel like they have a lot of good ideas and they can, whether they're aware of it or not, they can really see into the future, even if they don't recognize it. I feel like you kind of recognize it about them more than they recognize it about themselves. You have the Ace of Swords next. This is victory. This is victory, or it could be truth being revealed, or it can also be wisdom and knowledge. Sometimes the Ace of Swords can even mean 
a love relationship, like love coming in here. You are going to have the feeling in August like you've, like you've conquered something. Something that was like uh, a challenge. You've, you're going to feel like you conquered it in August. And I, I get the, my guides are saying you're going to start having the feeling like now something that maybe was stuck or stalled or you were in question about is going to start to move forward now. And it's important for you to hold your ground now and not to be swayed by public opinion, other people's opinions, or no matter who they are. Stick to your thoughts and feelings on it and hold your ground. Do not let yourself be swayed. I feel in some regards, I don't know what area of life this is, but that you're going to be showing people like things are going to have to go your way and the way you're saying you need them to go or they're not going forward. Like it's like, you're not gonna pussyfoot around, you're not gonna play games, you're not gonna cowtail to what everybody else, uh, what somebody else or anybody else wants or needs. It's gonna go, you're gonna be like, no, nope, it's gotta go my way. And if it's not going my way, then it's not gonna go forward. So you have to see where that fits into your life. Is that happening in family relationships? Is it with a love partner? or a potential love partner? Is it with work? Only you're going to know that because it is a general reading, Gemini. And I feel like you're actually even going to get an epiphany this month of August about how to go about doing things, certain things and handling certain things. I feel like you're going to have an epiphany about it. So if any situation has been like, uh, you know, you you were in a quandary about it and you didn't really know, you were uncertain, uh, you know, how do I handle this or how do I go about it? You're going to be enlightened and have an epiphany and you will know how to handle it. If it, if it was eluding you in June or July, it's going to be real clear to you how to go about this, whatever's been a mystery to you, you'll be clear about how to go about it in August. You may even have to instruct others or demonstrate to people because I, um, how to do something because I keep hearing you're going to show people how it's done. Uh, it could be in your workplace. It could be to your kids. It could be in some other situation. I don't know what, but I get you, Gemini, and August are going to be showing people how it's done. So next card you have here is Eight of Pentacles. So this is... The card of the apprentice, learning a new craft, learning a new skill, starting a new job, starting a new business, focusing on craftsmanship and attention to detail, bringing money in because eights attract money to you. So you could be attracting money to yourself in August as well. You may get invited or asked to attend a gathering or a symposium or some kind of lecture or some, some business or work related thing. Now, if you're non-working, this could be something like maybe you're going to start your own business. So you're going to these lectures or seminars or classes or whatever it is to get it together to learn how to do a business you're going to start or want to start. It could also be your company that you work for is requiring you to go if you work for somebody else. I feel like you're putting a lot of focus and on attention also on how can you improvise something it to do with work or business or your finances and what can you do to make it better also comes up here. It's almost like you have to get it together and get a plan of action and get things organized and get things in alignment. I feel there's other people that have gone before you that couldn't do it. They failed or they attempted, they thought they were gonna do it, but then they dropped out and didn't do it. This could either be for a business venture you wanna try and do or are getting ready to do, or it could be in something in regard to where you work now that Maybe other people tried this way, method, or position, and they couldn't hack it, and they had to drop out of it, and now it's the ball's rolling into your court. 
But for some of you, that could be a type of business or business opportunity that people were like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this. And then they went through the motions of trying to do it. And then they were like, yeah, no, it was either too much work, too much money, too many hours, too much stress. And so there were people that were gonna try to do what you're getting ready to do. Uh, but um, I feel like you're gonna do it where they, a lot of people bailed on it and didn't do it. You do have more money coming to you, but some of you may not see it in August. It's like, it, it, I feel like it's in the offing, it's near. It, it could be like September, October where it's gonna start to show up or a little bit later on, I don't know, but you've got like all this money is hovering near you. Um, I'm not saying you're not doing well financially in August. I'm just saying that you have money hovering around you and getting ready to come, come to you, but August may not be its uh, landing point. I feel that some of you have been talking to somebody and getting some kind of guidance and some of you may be doing it through mediums, psychics, and astrologers, and you could be communicating with people on the other side as well. So the next card you have here is the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Cups is a new love relationship. It could be new love in a relationship you're already in. It could be like a rebirth of love. It could also be love from the public or love from, you know, universal love, like family love, children love, like you know, loved ones around you love. I do feel like you're going to have the opportunity to shine in some way in either a new love relationship or in a love relationship that you're already in, but something's going to be new about it. I feel like in love in August, you're really t putting yourself out there and you're really taking a risk and a gamble emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally. Uh, and that's, even if you're already coupled, I still feel like you're, you're taking some kind of risk or a gamble. Um, but especially those of you that are single or just meeting somebody new, I do feel like you're, you're up to the challenge, but I feel like it is some kind of like stepping up to the plate, taking a risk or a gamble or taking a shot at love or and or romance. And I feel like you're gonna be brimming with happiness because I do feel like things are going to start to flow your way. Didn't I get that in the beginning? I think I did about Gemini, I'm not sure about that. I think I heard that already from one of the other cards while well, I'm getting it again. And your best success in the area of love and romance is to be real laid back, easygoing, and go with the flow. That's going to be your best course of action. You're going to notice that there's going to be people around you that are going to be surprised by you. They're going to be like, hey, what's up with Gemini? They're really like, you know, either you're going to be looking really fantastic or just the way you're presenting yourself, like lots of self-confidence, stepping out of the box, all that. Like, I, I see you turning heads. People are gonna be like, hey, like, like whoa, 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 what's up with Gemini? Like, grabbing people's attention. You may have an epiphany too, where you see how you actually have to be, just like you had an epiphany earlier. This could be another epiphany, where you're like, Wow, I see where I was too rigid or uptight or restricted before or not or looking at something from a perspective that didn't serve me in love and relationships. So I feel like you're going to be like, yeah, you know what? I feel like I finally get it. Like I get what is best for me and what works for me in love and relationships and how you behave and how you handle things. You may have a meeting of, a mo of the minds and hearts where somebody really steps out of their box and meets you halfway. So you could have a real you know, connection here happening in August. The next card you have here is the magician. So you have the card of the manifester, what you think about, you bring about, what's in the ethers and in the spiritual plane you can manifest into physical reality. What's in your mind, you can make happen in the real world. And you have all the tools 
in front of you with which to do so. You may be questioning, where do you fit in? You may be like, I, I really want to put down roots. I really want to have a solid foundation uh, in a, where I'm living or, you know, I feel like it's living, not work, but it could be both. Um, and I feel like you may not be sure where or where you really fit in now. Do you still fit into the place where you've been living or is it time to go? Uh, that again, that could be work or where you live. I, I get this like feeling like, am I really at home with this anymore? Like I want to feel like, you know, settled, but does this fit what has been going on? I feel like you're going to ask yourself this in August or maybe September. I feel like you're actually going to be revealing quite a lot about yourself in August. And this is either going to be to friends and family or a new love partner um, or new people that you meet. Like you're just going to be, maybe you're just going to be really telling it like it is and being very revealing about your thoughts, your emotions, your your feelings on and your perspectives on things. I feel like you're going to have a lot to say. And I feel that you're going to be quite witty and funny and like uh, kind of like sparkling and shining in August. Like, you know, I see Tinkerbell with the magic dust, right? When I haven't seen that in ages, but you know, with Peter Pan, when Tinkerbell came in, didn't she come in with like sparkly, like air around and then she had the wand? Well, and that's an air sign, right? You're an air sign. Tinkerbell flies through the air. I, I, I don't know. I get like you, like something magical about you in August, sparkling and shining, people paying attention to what you're saying and noticing you. And I feel like you're going to be uh, like witty, funny more open, outgoing. I see that person. And not that that always didn't exist in you, but I feel like you, you were maybe at times clamped, put a clamp down on it, kept it in a box, were maybe too rigid, didn't let it all out. Um, I feel like you're going to be more free flowing in August. And if you go to any counselors or therapists or, you know, whomever, if you see somebody for counseling, I feel like you're going to really open up to them. If you have, if there are things that you didn't let out about yourself before, I feel that you will let yourself out to them as well. So now let's pull a gemstone crystal for Gemini. And, you know, I've said this in the other videos and you may watch some of the other ones. Uh, too, because rising sign and moon sign and all that. But you can get gemstone bracelets now in the beaded bracelets. They make them in almost everything. I've looked them up on eBay and seen like really unbelievable stones that before it used to just be like rose quartz, aventurine, turquoise, tiger's eye. Uh, I don't know. There might have been a couple others, but that's what used to be the mainstay now there's so many, so, so, so many. So let's see for you, Gemini, what's the best gemstone crystal for you to wear or work with in August, 2019? This is for Gemini. Gemini, what's the best crystal for Gemini? Oh, you got fluorite. Hmm. Interesting. I like fluorite. I like it because it's stripey. It has bands of color, purple and turquoise. Okay. Let's see why it's a good stone for you in August. It's going to help you to have a broadened perspective, um, be very magnanimous and generous, which most Geminis already are that, but I'm just getting, these are some of the traits that's going to be magnified <clears throat> and enhanced by this fluorite, by fluorite. It's going to help you, this is interesting to me, tap into your natural instincts. And you may say, why is that so interesting? Because I feel sometimes Gemini goes against their natural instincts. I, I'm not criticizing you. I could go on and on about crap Aquarians do. <laughs> but we're not talking about Aquarians here. Um, I feel like if you've walled off your natural instincts before 
and, you know, wanted to put on a certain persona or like for protective reasons, I'm not saying for stupid reasons, it's going to help you like kind of get past that and tap into your natural instincts. It's going to really keep you centered and, and grounded. And it's a good stone for you to see things in a realistic manner should anything arise around you that would be like of a crisis point. Like if there was family troubles that kicked up or work problems or anything that seemed like a crisis, this will help, this stone would help you in those situations. If you wear this stone, if you wear it in a pendant or in a bracelet or carry it, put it in your bra, whatever, you're going to attract a lot of compliments from people. People, somehow this stone's going to make you shine in August and watch, you have it on your person. No lie, you watch, people are going to be like, hey, Gemini, you look fantastic. Hey, Gemini, I love your ideas. Hey, Gemini, you're so funny. Oh my gosh, you're a riot. You should come out with us every weekend. You're going to get a lot of compliments um, in August if you work with and use or wear the stone of fluorite. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thanks for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell if you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get a continuation of this reading, Gemini, where I look into my crystal and I give you additional messages and predictions from my spirit guides for the month of August 2019, you can access those videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video and it will take you to those videos on Vimeo. And also the other video series I have listed below is the Mid-Year Love and Romance Psychic Tarot Update for 2019 where I pulled four cards from the Morgan Greer Tarot deck and one card from the John Holland Oracle card. John Holland's Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle card for each sign of the Zodiac. Uh, that link is also below this video. And you know, you can always go to my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Click on the videos tab on my menu. And there you will see all the video series I've recorded. There's a, well over 1,300, maybe even 1,400 videos I've recorded on Vimeo now. You just go to my website. Each, each category that um, of the videos I've made, I have written out a description of what cards I used, whether I used the crystal or not, how many cards I pulled, and what the topic is about. And you just pick the topic you're interested in, click on your sign, sun, moon, or rising, and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. So I hope you have an... Oh, and if you would like to get additional predictions and messages from me that you're not going to see here on YouTube and get hear what my spirit guides have to say for you, you can follow me on either of my two Facebook pages, The Lucky Mermaid LLC and The Psychic Pastry Chef LLC and my Instagram account, The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgel. I post messages and predictions from my spirit guides using the crystal, tarot cards, oracle cards. You never know what they're going to say. It's not just necessarily for the day I post it. Many times my guides are saying within six months, within four months, within 14 days, within five weeks, within a, you know next week. It's all over. You never know what they're going to say. Timing is different on all of the predictions. If you'd like to see what that's all about, please follow me on those social media places that I just mentioned. So I hope you have an absolutely amazing August, Gemini, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.